Hello guys and welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to be answering the questions from the Q&A. Now if you're asking why it took me so much time to actually make this video, well I was pretty busy lately and I didn't have the access to a device so I can record this and edit this and answer all of you guys questions but that's a good thing because I was able to get more and more questions with the time passing by. Like, I'm not even kidding. Lately, I haven't even played as much Druid as I used to play before. According to an app, I used to like follow uh, how much Druid I play daily, weekly and monthly. According to the app, for the last month, I've played Druid for only 4 hours. Only 4 hours. Compared to my usual 8 to 9 hours a day. A day! Just imagine but uh, anyway that's not really that important now my druid playtime is not the thing that's most important right now what's most important is that I recently hit 400 subscribers thanks to you guys and so what I decided to do is ask you guys to you know ask me questions because even though I've already done one Q&A there's still probably a lot of questions from you guys that you could ask for me to answer and while that video was out for like a couple weeks, maybe like two weeks or something, and a couple days, you guys asked your questions on Discord and on YouTube. So now I'm gonna be answering those questions. Okay, the first question we have is on Discord from Felipon. I hope I'm reading that and pronouncing that right. So let's answer that question. Okay, first of all... <laughs> Nice timing there, man. <laughs> okay, anyways, memes aside. Pelipon is asking, how did you discover Osudroid and why you keep playing this game? Now, I may have done a video uh, explaining how I found out about this game, but it's old, it's cringy, and it's basically trash. So, uh, in about uh, like a couple months, I'll be hitting two years. Yes, that's right, two years since I first registered in also droid. So uh, when the date comes, expect a video to come out about this, if I hopefully don't forget and don't feel too lazy to edit and make the video. <laughs> For now, I'm just gonna simply answer the question in a pretty short way. Most of you might be familiar with this video. So, uh, long story short, one day I was looking for videos to watch on YouTube and I stumbled upon this magical video about this guy failing on no! the last spinner of the Big Black and I was like, dang, he cool. I wish I could do that as well, this game seems pretty interesting. And that's when the gears started moving around. Felipon said, if someone already asked this cliche question, I have another one. If Solus and Tsukushi went for a fight, who would win? Now, it's not like I know them personally or anything, so I can't really answer this question um, perfectly accurate. But for me, uh, Tsukushi seems like a pretty tough guy, not gonna lie. But Solis, Solis isn't nothing as well. He's like, oh god, I can't even explain stuff. But if they both went on a fight against each other, I feel like Solis would, will strike with his epic roasts and Tsukushi would be like Here's your 6 million seconds mute, now shut up retard But this is just what I personally think would happen, so it's not really 100% accurate <laughs> Okay, so the next question is by Hafiz09 Boy, congrats for 400 subscribers, Owo Can I ask what is your favorite type of map? Tech? Stream? Or like Merami Pop Maps, Paper Weird? And explain why and how to get better at it well, for that, I'd say I love tech maps, I love stream maps, jump maps are also good, but you know, you can't really pick which one is your favorite, but if I had to pick which ones are my favorite, I'd probably say tech and stream maps, because jump maps are also epic, but man, there's nothing beating a good beat tech map or a high BPM rock stream map, you know, you get what I mean. But hitting those hella spaced freaking jumps is also pretty freaking pog, so I can't really I can't really tell what is 
my absolutely favorite. And as for Meramipop, I have no idea what that shit is. <laughs> now, how to get better at tech maps and stream maps? Well, uh, for tech maps, this is quite complicated because there is no, uh, you know, known way for getting better at tech maps other than, you know, the original trademark play more. So I guess I'm just gonna stick to the OG response to every <laughs> how to get better at the game question and tell you to, well, play more. While Druid works differently with tech maps than PC, on Druid you can just, well, spam stuff. So if you're a drag player, well, just go pull a freaking five finger, ten finger or as much multi-touch your phone can take and you'll be sure to hit everything <laughs> and just follow the sliders. Stuff should be fine. If you don't want to do that, then I guess you can play different types of tech maps and, um, you know, learn patterns and stuff. Meanwhile, uh, tech maps don't have really the same patterns like generic jump maps and stuff like that. Playing different types of tech maps could get you better on different types of patterns and, well, could get you pretty much ready for whatever the game throws at you. As for stream maps, well, that's a pretty long time-taking and consuming process which you need to, you know, get used to and uh, you have to be patient, basically. So you have to play a certain BPM that's, you know, comfortable to you. Uh, so as far as you get comfortable with one BPM, feel free to go above and above, slowly raising, you know, the board and getting faster and faster now. Keep in mind that your daily BPM or the BPM that you have worked for on the day could be different the next day if you are still kind of new to Osu in general because having the stamina one day doesn't mean that you're gonna have the same stamina after you take a break or the next day basically. So after playing for a long time your finger muscles will get used to the constant high BPM stuff and you would start being able to play the same BPM every day like somewhat I do because uh, since I'm somewhat used to BPM I can literally wake up and start streaming 200 BPM no problem without warm-up so yeah this is a very time-consuming project if you want to improve on streams so keep that in mind and be patient you can't have improvement for just a couple hours or just a couple days this thing could take months even years as for jump maps, the same answer as before goes ahead. Play more. The more you play, the more your finger gets used to aiming at the circles and your aim gets snappier and snappier the more you play. So, sorry to um, break your enthusiasm. Sometimes you could get to that point where you don't see as much improvement, but that doesn't have to let you down. Don't let the improvement being not visible take you down or what I'm saying is don't give up just keep going and one day after you play more or enjoy the game more you will start seeing the improvement by itself so as long as you enjoy game and play different maps not being stuck at a certain star level I mean star rating or a certain type of maps then you should be good so keep clicking those circles and the improvement will come with its time. Now the next question is by an in real life friend of mine, also known as Team28TZ. HOW DO YOU HAVE SO MUCH STAMINA? I somewhat answered this question in the previous question and that is, the once you play a certain BPM your finger muscles get used to it and after some time you will be able to play uh, certain BPM without warm-up, no problem, when you wake up and shoot a pose. Now keep in mind that if you just play like half an hour or 10 hours a day, uh, 10 hours, <laughs> 10 minutes a day, that won't be enough. You know, I be playing Druid for like at least 3 hours a day, sometimes I'd go for even 8 or 9 hours a single day. So you'd have to raise the board on this as well, you have to play more than an hour a day if you want to improve your streaming skills, stamina and etc. Okay, the next question is by Epic Gamer. Why do you play with drag style? How do you learn to stream consistently? 
Now, I answered the question about the streaming like a couple questions earlier, so there's your answer. And on the second question, or the first question, it was, why do you play Draxile? Well, first, I suck at single tap. <laughs> I can't play single tap at all. It's, it's basically easier for me to drag than to single tap. Because, you know, I have a shitty device for... I guess I shouldn't put in my setup in the question. But playing single tap on a click delayed device is uh, just a pain in the ass. <laughs> So going to drag actually improves my accuracy a lot and feels a lot more safe and consistent for me. And well, overall drag is a nice and beautiful playstyle to play with. And while drag is, yes, more stamina consuming, I'd rather have my stamina consumed more than actually not being able to play the game good. Because, well, I can build up stamina and I can improve my game even more. While you can improve single tapping, still, you need a good, a somewhat good device without issues. In which my case, that's a big no-no. Next question is by Mikorie. Most important question, how to host Druid? Well, just open the application, click play, download some apps, import those, and click a map you want to play and just click the circles. Fairly easy. <laughs> Next question is by Stilian Ivanov. Have you played with Dragstyle since the very beginning or was there some kind of switch? How are you by the way? Yes, I have played with Drag playstyle since the very beginning because that's what I thought it was supposed to be played with. But later on realized that you can also single tap and well I decided to keep dragging because that was better for me and my performance on maps. And while now from time to time I do single tap scores or two hand scores, I still rather to keep my drag career. <laughs> and as for how I am, well I'm pretty good right now but I can't really explain absolutely everything. I'll explain in a later state but for now I'm pretty good. Next question is by Ari Rita. How to be you? Well, that's quite complicated. First, get born. Second, start watching hentai at the early age of four. Then, um, grow up. Then, start playing a circle clicking game. Then, uh, start dragging. Then, uh, start clicking more circles every day. Then, uh, then dedicate your life to the game, play more and more, click every single circle that you see, until there is no more! Oh, also I forgot to mention, turn into a lolicon, like lollies, uh, get arrested by the police or something, <laughs> and I don't know, <laughs> that's basically about it. Next question is by Schoolboy. <clears throat> Will you ever make a collab with anyone? Also subscribe to my channel, do you know how hard it is to get 100 subs like I've been stuck at 82 for almost half a year by now? But I'm not giving up. Also, if you don't sub to me, then this, uh, this that you are uh, is why. Like, do you know how many times you kiss sunrise? Yeah, too many since. I <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, first of all, uh, would you make a collab with anyone else um, or with anyone? Well, while I've had plans to make collabs with Team Twenty Eight DZ, we still haven't done it yet. As for the other gibberish. Fine, Jesus, I'm subscribed to you for almost a decade by now. Next question we've got is from Lost Soul. Congratulations on hitting 400 subs and still growing. Only one question, how in the world to have high FPS on a shitty phone? Now, that's a pretty good question. First, I have developer options enabled. Uh, how to get the developer options? Well, you enable them by clicking your build number in your phone's information a couple times until you get them enabled. Second, you have your background app processes to just the one, and you enable the GPU rendering thingy. What's also important is having a light skin. Also, disabling the graphic options in, in the Osudroid settings could help. And now time for the most bug of all the questions. We have a question from Awaken. Favorite map? Well, the one that's playing right now in the background. Favorite artist? That would have to be Camellia. And the favorite song from them would be the Camellia 200 Step Exit Dessert Atmosphere or Atmosphere. 
What's your dream play? Well, my dream play would be Yomiyori FC full drag. That's like the thing I've been going for, but I can't really accomplish lately. Another dream play I have is FCing the last diff of uh, Glorious Morning full drag, of course. As for other dream plays, I can't really think of any right now. I guess fixing my accuracy on painters would be a good thing. Your inspiration of playing drag? Well, ever since the beginning, I've been looking up to Biggies because, well, he's a complete god. He's doing everything in such a, an amazing way, while he calls himself trash. I believe that that's a huge lie. The next big boy question we've got is from Quantum Vortex. What do you want your legacy in Druid to be? Well, that's a pretty, pretty epic question. What do I want my legacy in Druid to be? Man, that got me thinking. Well, in general, I just want to be on the leaderboards and when people check out maps, they just see me there and go like, man, I want to be as good as him. I just mainly want to be an inspiration for the Druid community. What do you think you're capable of without your device holding you back? Well, I'd definitely be able to push my accuracy and overall drag performance further and further. Which Druid players do you look up to the most? As I answered in a previous question, Biggies is the god, the drag god that I'm looking up to and that I've been looking up to ever since I joined the Discord server and I started playing Druid. What is your end gameplay? Well, I don't really plan on quitting the game yet, but a play that I'd submit as my last, I guess I'm gonna find a map with a title named Goodbye, and I'm gonna submit a score on that. What is your least favorite type of map? Well, I'd say the annoying mistimed maps, and the ones that spam sliders and circles in an unhuman way. Those are gonna be my least favorite maps. And that was the last question. Thank you all for the recent support and I guess we're gonna see in the next video which is probably not gonna be soon since I don't upload as much lately. Bye!